Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's news and community spotlights. The most recent hotfix, 5.4.4, is now officially released. There are a few key fixes, such as fixing crashes when using iKey retargeting for animations from versions before 5.0, adding and missing Steam Deck script files, and more. However, it also includes a notable change to keep in mind if you're currently developing a project to release on Android. To publish new apps or updates to the Google Play Store after August 31st, 2024, you must update to 5.4.4, which includes updates for Android 14 compatibility with Target SDK 34. Alternatively, you can also pull the necessary updates from GitHub directly. Apps built with previous versions of Unreal Engine will no longer submit successfully, so keep this in mind if this change will affect your project. To learn more about the 5.4.4 hotfix, as well as this update to Android compatibility, check out the main 5.4 release page on the Epic Developer Community, where you can also leave feedback about the changes or report issues or bugs you may encounter. You can find the Epic Developer Community at dev.epicgames.com community. Among the many genres of video games, open-world titles have seen a significant rise in popularity in recent years, evolving from their early days to garner a substantial following worldwide. Nowadays, when discussing open-world games, one might naturally wonder, beyond exploration and adventure, what other unique features can these games offer to provide a different kind of experience? Fortunately for players, Infold Games has brought us one such distinctive open-world game. Infinity Nikki delivers stunning visuals and a uniquely engaging gameplay experience, capturing the essence of what an open-world game can be. Our curiosity was piqued by various questions about the project's development and technical aspects that we had, prompting us to reach out to the Infinity Nikki development team for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at the making of this game. You can find the full interview at unrealengine.com feed. Interested in meeting some of your fellow developers? Here's a list of community meetups happening this month. Find one near you and enjoy. Let's get into the incredible community spotlights for this week. Apartment by Maxim Dorokov is a beautiful, high-quality apartment interior. The project brings the whole home to life with several different rooms, including an equipped kitchen, living room, bedroom, bathroom, and laundry closet. The realistic style lends itself well to the soft lighting and legitimate floor plan, and it's even available on the Unreal Marketplace. If you're interested in seeing more of their work, you can do so at their art station, and if you're interested in checking out this apartment on the Marketplace, you can find the link below. Alana Colden by Alfonso J. Zambrano is a stunning 3D render of a concept created by the talented Sarah Hermelin. The character required them to tackle some more advanced techniques, such as complex shaders, volumes for a proper render, a variety of materials for her garments, and the fact that she has enough hair for five whole characters. Using a combination of Houdini and the MetaHuman Pipeline, this amazing project was able to be fully realized. If you'd like to see more of their work, or the concept artist's work, you can do so by checking out their art stations, linked below. Stone Town by Emil Thors is a fun 3D recreation of a concept by Joko Chen. Emil jumped into this project with a ton of ambition, tackling an outdoor concept with little experience in creating rocks, not that you could tell by the end result. Exploring features such as nanite tessellation, this final environment is a homey, well-made piece that we hope you enjoy just as much as we did. If you'd like to see more about this project or their other work, you can do so at their art station. That's it for today's news and community spotlights. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.